Welcome to the next session of our first order differential equations. We are now looking at solutions to first order differential equations. We've done the standard representation and the differential representation. Now let's consider equation three. Equation three is a uniform or a standard first order differential equation. It says equation three has no general way of solving it but then we can solve it if we know the class of the first order. And these classes are in six, from separable through to exact equation. You must know where your first order falls under before you can use that technique to solve. For this session, I'll look at separable differential equation or separable first order differential equations. It is said to be separable. If I write this as a standard form, I have dy dx equal to f of x t. Sorry, in terms of t. It can, if I can write this such that I'll have this in terms of y only and then in terms of t only, then the function is separable. If I can't do that, then it is not separable. So assuming it's separable, you see the steps is that write a separable form Write your separable form. Secondly, integrate what you have. And then lastly, solve for your unknown. These are just the three things. So let's take example one. If I want to solve for the first order differential equation given as y prime equal to 2t 25 plus y. The question is, is this separable? How do I do that? I want to write it such that I have functions in terms of y only and then function in terms of t only. I can do this by first writing it in the standard form. We've gone through the standard form in the first video. So I have dy dt is equal to 2t 25 plus y. If I do a cross multiplication, that is, I'm looking at the differential form, I'll have dy is equal to 2t into bracket 25 plus y dt. I have not separated this because I still have some terms of y here. What I can do is to divide through by that, by that term. So I have 1 over 25 plus y dy equal to 2t dt. I think there's a separable because I have terms of y only and I have terms of t only. Hence, the equation is separable. And that is a separable form. Now, the second step is to integrate. So I integrate 1 over 25 plus y dy is equal to 2t integral dt. We cannot integrate this. If I integrate 1 over x dx, I'm supposed to get what then x. That is just by the way. It means that if I integrate this aspect of my equation, I have ln of 25 plus y is equal to c squared plus a constant of integration c. You know why I'm getting t squared? It's integration. Now, I need to solve for my unknown. I'm done with the integration here. The third is to solve for my unknown. How do I do that? I can only do that by taking exponential of the functions, of the expressions there. You know exponential and then log, natural log has a relationship. They cancel out. And so I have my representation as 25 plus y is equal to exponential t squared plus c. Now using indices, I can write this out as e t squared times e to the power c indices. I can then still write this as e t squared times another constant m. So this is m, why? Because e to the power zero is one, e to the power one is some number, e to the power two is some number. And so e to the nth number will still be what a number, and that is represented as m. 
So I have the magnitude of 25 plus y equals to that. Have I solved for the unknown? No. What I can do is to solve for y, that will be equal to e m e t squared minus 25. And this is my solution if I want to get y. And this is a general solution. So this is how you solve for separable equation. You must check that you can separate the terms. Example two. It says find the solution for the differential equation given. I have second equation as V prime equals, no, V prime minus two V equals X. It means I'm looking at a way to solve or write the terms as V only and then what? X only. Can I do that? That is what we are asking ourselves. Let's write in the standard form. In the standard form, I have the V, the X, minus 2V equal to X. In the differential form, I have the V minus 2V, the X, is equal to x dx. Hmm. I still want to separate this by all means. But you realize that it will never be separable because this one here, no matter the divisions I do, I'll still have v and then x playing together. This is cool. This is good. But this one here is a problem. So let's see. Someone will still go ahead and say, let me divide by 2v. Divide both sides by 2v. So I'll have it as 1 over 2v dv minus dx is equal to x over 2v dx. If I move to this stage, you realize that I have a problem here. So this is good now. This is good. But then the last term now becomes a problem. And so with this example, it is not separable. It is not separable because I can't write the terms as V only and then X only. Hence, not separable. So what do I do? That will lead us to the next category of first order differential equations. But before that, I had a word problem here. Let's see if it is separable. That's application question. It says, let B denotes the quantity of oil in a reservoir with a K velocity at a rate and a start of the year defined as the B, the T is equal to K, B, T. Given that at initial quantity, it means at B at zero, our uh, oil is 5,000, with K giving us 4. What is B at 50 years? That is what we are supposed to solve here. But I wouldn't solve for B at 50 years. I want to check if this is separable or not. You know this is first order differential equation. This is so straightforward. It's already in the standard form. So if I want to write it in a differential form, it becomes db equals to kb what dt. But I want to write this in terms of b only and then t only. Can I do that? Yes. If I divide both by b, I have 1 over b db is equal to k dt. Since k is a constant, no matter where it, it stays, I'm still correct. So this is good. I have terms of b only. And I have terms respect to T here. As K is a constant, so I'm good. Now, another way to write this separable is that someone will say, okay, I'll divide the entire thing by 1 over KB. You are still correct. So I have it equal to just the T. This is in terms of B, and this is in terms of T. So how would I solve this problem? This is the separable form. I have 1 and then two. It said the second step says that integrate both sides. So I have integral one over b dp is equal to integral k dt. 
So this gives me ln b is equal to k is a constant. If you integrate a constant with respect to any variable, there's that constant times the variable. And then the constant of integration comes here. My unknown is b, so b becomes exponential kt plus c. Just like that for the first example. So it means b respect to t becomes some m a respect to kt. And this is my solution. So always check, check that, sorry, it is separable or not separable. If it's separable, go through the integration and then solve for your unknown. I hope this is well understood. So for the last example we did, since it is not separable, this leads us to a second category called homogeneous differential equation. And look at that in the next section.